I want to point something out here. You have perfection up on the stage. Do you know that? Because if these two people were in a relationship together, if they worked together, if this were a teacher and this were a student, if this were a parent and this were a child, they'd get along great. And that goes on down the line, you see, because types really do get along very well with each other, but this is not realistic. Let's prove realism right here. Okay, what I would like you to do, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna have these two people change places. And we're going to have these two people change places. That's all. That's all we're going to do. Now the fun begins. Just matched you and your husband, huh? Hmm, well, that's interesting. Just going to squeeze myself in here. Okay, now we have a spring educator, right? And your name, would you tell everyone what your name is? May Boren. Uh, May, could you tell me what your job is as an educator? What, what do you teach? Yes. Right. And what grade? Second. Okay. Could you tell us what is the classroom environment that you prefer in your classroom? Could you describe it for us? Structured, quiet, um, on task most of the time, creativity, when not spontaneous, it's always planned. That's why she has the autumn button on also, you see. That's her second season. Very clear. Okay, what I'd like to know is, as a spring, do you express your feelings to your students? Are you very tuned in to their emotions? Yes, we get very emotional. Do you tend to hug them? Uh, I, no, they hug me more. I'm and, more open to the hugging. And are you comfortable with that? Yes, very much. Nine grandchildren, I am, very much. <laughs> okay, well, now we have a winter here, and your name? Carol Myers. Carol, could you tell us, how, how do you feel about having a teacher that likes to hug and express emotions? How do you feel about that? It's okay. Do you feel very comfortable with that? Mm, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Okay, I mean, you could bear up under that. Yeah. You don't need, do you, does that mean you don't need a lot of affection? Right. It's okay. Okay. Well, now we have a winter whose name is? Bob Smith. Bob Smith. And uh, Bob, you're a winter. And w could you tell us what profession you're in? I'm an employment manager for a company here in the Valley. Okay. I want you to listen to his language, folks. Listen to how differently he speaks than May. Okay. Now, um... What I'd like to know is in the scene, you remember the staff meeting scene where the spring was so upset she had a, a fight with her husband, right? And she was so upset it kind of ruined her day. We need to get rid of people like that. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear that? I did. He's going to get rid of you. I'm going to hang in there. <laughs> You're going to hang in there. Did you hear that? Okay, so you don't deal very well with people who have uh, emotions in their work. Impatience, probably. Mm -hmm. Intolerant, too? Uh, tolerance, yes, but a little bit of impatience. Okay, so how do you... you make me cry. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might say that. What is your name? Joyce Osborne. Okay, Joyce, so uh, are you saying that you wouldn't like to have a boss like that? Right. You heard it, folks. You heard it from the horse's mouth. Okay, I don't want to have anybody step on this wire. Hi. Hi. You're an autumn. Yes. And you are an educator? Yes. Okay. What is your name? Jack Rawls. Jack, could you uh, tell us in what capacity you're an educator? Well, I choose to be an elementary principal, but they've made an administrator out of me in the central office. I see. Well, when you were a teacher, yes. when you were a teacher, what type of atmosphere did you prefer in your classroom? Well, I like to have it organized, and I like to have good, warm teachers, friendly, and the kids are important, and uh, the, the parents are important, the community is important. And, uh, Do you tend to follow the rules? As long as the rules are right. <laughs> um, did you hear that? How did you feel about what he just said? Well, I'm a little bit the opposite. <laughs> what, what, in other words, you don't have his rules? Well, I don't always like to follow the rules. <laughs> what is your name? My name is Beth Gilman. And Beth, how did you uh, perform at school? What type of atmosphere did you prefer in the classroom? What, what went on in your favorite classroom? As a teacher or as a when student? When you were a student. When I was a student. Well, when I was a student, I was always the one that was out of their seat. Um, 
had their work done and didn't have other things to do, but I loved to, to socialize and um, like, loved to be organizing things, parties, and what we're going to do in our free time and that kind of thing. Get the work done so you can play. Oh, so play, having fun was a very important thing to you. How about that? Did you want to have, have these kids have fun? I, I would have no problem with her. Well, you're unusual, sir. Yeah. Very unusual. I would have no problem with that. Because most as autumn... As the work got done, and as long as there was some organization... Yeah, I... Otherwise, what would you do with her? We'd have fun. Oh, good. Great. Okay. Well, you know, I'd like to get a little serious here just for a second. I've worked in Sacramento County, and I had, um, I had a contract there for about a year working with high-risk students, juvenile delinquents, and most of the kids in these continuation high schools were summers. So you see, these are our highest dropouts. And the reason they're dropping out, I really believe, is because school was not designed for them. It, they really were designed by autumns, and they're run by autumns. Administrators are autumns. Teachers are autumns by nature. And so the summers really do have a hard time. We like to help kids to understand there's nothing wrong with them because they can't sit still in that seat. And they need to have more hands-on experience. So that's just a little bit of information I thought I'd pass on to you. So in case you have any summer kids out there, now you know why they're having a hard time. Well, that's one of the reasons anyway. Okay, we're going to just move along here. And we're going to meet our summer. Who is? My name's Ken. Could Ken. Ken, okay. Ken, you said you were a travel agent. Yes. Why are you attracted to that type of work? A lot of play. Uh, and a lot of people. Nice people, fun people. Okay. A lot of fun. Uh, do you sit at your desk a lot? Too much, yes. Yeah. So that, that doesn't turn you on real well. Uh, no, I'd rather be out playing, but yet, on the other hand, owning the business, you have to sit at the desk. Well, how about this actor that played you in the show? Uh, you remember how the, the, the autumn that he was sitting near was kind of upset with him because she was so detail-oriented, and she got all the work done, and she kind of drove him a little crazy. How do you feel? Do you work with people like that? I think I've been set up. <laughs> <laughs> Have we ever met before? <laughs> Never. Yes, uh, yes. You do? You work with people like that. How well do you work with them? Um, I'd say under the circumstances, excellent. <laughs> right. Are you holding something back? No, no, I wouldn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you're Tim. Yes. How, do you, how would you feel working with a guy like that? I don't think I could. Why? Uh, things have to be in the, in the right place at the right time for me. Okay, did you hear what he's saying about you? Yeah. So you see, everyone has their own needs, and I, whether you believe in temperament theory, which is what this is based on or not, isn't it interesting how we seem to find the people who selected their own season and came up on stage, and with just a little guidance, they seem to prove out what we're trying to say here. Can we give them a round of applause for coming up here?